Hey everyone, welcome back to Form Therapy. This is The Culture Study. I'm the channel's video producer and your host. You can call me PD. And today we are checking out Scream by SF9. This is SF9's summer comeback. I'm really excited. I don't know if they've ever done a summer comeback. I mean, they do exciting music. Uh, I just don't know if they've ever done... Wait, no, yes they have. Wait, I know they have. Summer Breeze. Um, well, I guess I'm just excited for another summer comeback from SF9. Guys, before we get into today's video, though, real quick, if you guys enjoy our content and would like to support us, remember you can always visit us over on our Patreon at patreon.com slash formatherapy. We do listening parties, uh, bonus reactions to, well, albums. We actually did a listening party, our first listening party for SF9 recently. You can actually check that out. It was for their last comeback. Um... We also check out K-dramas, survival shows, animes, variety content. So if you want to support the channel, but also get more content, visit us over on our Patreon. Of course, you don't have to support us monetarily if you don't want to. Just simply like the video down below and make sure you subscribe down below. We would really appreciate it. All right, let's get into the video. This is Scream by SF9, and this is your form of therapy. song feels like very large if that makes sense <laughs> Oh my god, I feel like I'm... I hope no one takes this the wrong way, but I feel like I'm watching a commercial now. Like a Sprite commercial. Oh my god. Oh, Tang is Oh, that Oh, his dance break at the end was incredible. My goodness. I think that might be also I'm I'm suddenly look I'm looking at this uh this text right here. Eleventh mini album. Wow. SF9 has come so far since their debut. I still remember when they debuted. Um and they've already had 11 EPs. That's insane. And yet Scream feels refreshing. It's surprisingly something they've never done before. Uh, you know, they they have done a summer comeback concept before, but just not in this vein, I guess. Not 
this, not with this level of polish. I mean, I hate to say it every single time, but I'm astounded because every comeback that SF9 has had um, after their time on Kingdom truly has, I think, been really incredible. They keep topping themselves, topping themselves, topping themselves. And there's always a group that really learns how to constantly reinvent and evolve themselves through one of those competition shows. And I'm so glad that SF9 really, really benefited from that because this was so dope. Um, there is a lot that I love about the music video. I like the song. It's a very solid dance bop song. Um, I think while the song itself uh, is very different from what SF9 usually does for title tracks, I think I still like it just because, one, I think the vocals is what makes it very sound sf 9 e but also Scream is very much a dance song, like very much a kind of, um, but not just any dance song, like kind of like, a, you know, like seeing like people randomly like break dancing in the street, you know, and like there's, there's a crowd gathering around watching. It's fun, it's festive. It's a very loud song, you know. I, I could have easily seen this music video not being a uh, in studio box fo uh, box shoot type of video, which this is, um, and I could easily see them doing like a shooting it in like the streets of a city, and then uh, it turns into like a block party type of thing. Actually, let's start talking about the music video then. So, some things that I really liked about the music video. Uh, well, I mean, it really starts with I think it was the first verse actually because up until this point the music video had definitely a very just oh generic summer boy group set right that generic basketball pool set there was nothing about this that really gave the music video its unique identity yet that is and they started building upon it um, I mean the, the sets that they did have were pretty but they were just very flat, um, and they were just, you know, stuff that you'd seen before. But once we get to this section right here during the second verse, it makes sense why. They're within a music video shoot, and so now it's multi-layered. It's, it's got more depth to it. It's a little bit smarter. They're a little bit more aware, and that when you do that, then you can get away with certain things. And so all of a sudden, all the fun, colorful stuff in the beginning that just, oh, it just looks like a standard fun boy group music video, it suddenly just, it, it recontextualizes everything. Um, and it actually gives you a, a quick glimpse into like like the scale of a K-pop music video shoot, just like the giant kind of scrims that they use, which is what creates that soft lighting for those K-pop boy group and girl group music videos. Uh, but I really liked this entire section here where, you know, um, I think Tang's pretending to be uh, a PA, uh, someone is uh, on, is that Zuo? Uh, someone's on the mic, someone's on the camera. Uh, I I thought that was really clever. Um, I also really liked, I mean, I'm sure everybody did as well. The, the lime green suits are incredible. And honestly, the way they look against the blue is also incredible. Just, I've never seen a, uh, a K-pop boy group just pull off a... Oh my goodness, hold on. Oh, let's sit there and appreciate that for a second. This entire set is all blue with little pops of orange. Very, very, very little pops of orange. The clean white. Uh, it pops really well. And then you've got the white from the bounce as well. Oh my God. I have never been more grateful to be... Well, uh, owning a color accurate TV now because this is so gorgeous. I'm looking at my reference monitor. It does not, eat, it pales in comparison to I, what it's actually supposed to look like. It actually looks like a very expensive, like crazy summer Super Bowl type of commercial. Um, but like the entire set being blue is actually really incredible. That's so well done, so well thought out. And even uh, having like, I can't tell if that's a projector or not. I don't think so. It's definitely painted on there. Even having the painting of like the water sort of effects so that, you know, if especially like if the camera is constantly moving, it might trick your eye into thinking like there's water on the set too. But 
This is wow. That was that was really really clever. But I love the music video. It's so you know, there I use a pun. Refreshing. I mean, it really really is. I think the last time I felt this way, really having this like crisp commercial summer type of song, uh, was maybe Astros like breathless. I mean, Astros breathless has that very just perfect summer crisp Sprite commercial, you know, watching the sweat dripping down uh, the side of somebody's face and then the condensation around the Sprite can. I don't know why I keep equating this to Sprite. This is not sponsored by Sprite, but I think it's the lime green that's doing it for me. But wow, really, this is this is my favorite uh, summer song in this style since Breathless. I, I've been wanting a style like this, so it's really cool to see SF9 do this. Um, uh, one other thing, let me see. Oh, yeah, and then the last thing is, of course, ending on this dance break. Ooh. Ooh. God. The camera movements in this music video are also incredibly beautiful as well. I mean, just even that segment right there with Taeyang. Just the way they like slowly push in on him and they're constantly rotating the actual uh, angle of the camera, that's a lot of work that they're putting in, but it's so mesmerizing. It just really seduces you. They did an amazing job. Holy moly, this set is huge. Wow. Um, but ending on that, I, I noticed like this is like, is this becoming like a new kind of um, trendy thing in K-pop now, sort of an ending on dance breaks? Uh, I, I feel like I've seen quite a, quite a few recently uh, most notably, very recently, I watched ATBO's debut, and ATBO also ended on a dance break, which was fantastic. But I'm really digging it. Honestly, the boy group songs uh, of this summer are very fun and exciting, and I definitely haven't heard something like this in a long time. So uh, I'm on board. For me, SF9 Scream really is a ten out of a ten out of a ten comeback. It's a summer, it's a summer comeback, which is perhaps the most competitive market for music. And that's why in the summer comeback market, it's there's a lot of generic summer songs out there. Uh, a lot of people just like riding a trendy wave, but that's because that's how popular that market is. And if people can't come up with new ideas, you just go with the trend. I'm glad that they came up with like this very fun, crazy. Uh, very dance-driven type of uh, jingle here. It was amazing. Um, and to stand out, like, while doing such a bold style, I mean, no one can do it like SF9. I, I mean, like, ever since they really, like, they made that jump and evolution to, like, being men idols, male idols, you know, just, like, exuding that man aura, they have really just started taking their music in new directions and this is just like another example of them trying something new and it's wonderful and so it's a 10 out of 10 for me that's why it, it, i think it really goes above and beyond and i think making a music video in this style one it's shot very beautifully the color grading is absolutely gorgeous it's actually it's actually jaw-dropping how gorgeous this music video is um the saturation is on it on it is actually perfect um it, it kind of kind of sinks into, and there's a reason why I didn't talk about the music video too much today. It does kind of sink into that, oh, it's like a very generic, very uh, like not crazy. Uh, uh, what, what, what's the word that I'm trying to think of? What's the word I'm thinking of? I'm just, I'm getting miming motions over here. Uh, like, it, it's not cr like like crazy and insane with a lot of edits and a lot of different set pieces and, you know, trying something new and innovating. I think it, this was just really, really, really good. And I think there were just enough good ideas in there that even though they had these sets that play into the summer boy group 
music video trope. I think literally like that set, that basketball court set, I think the boys, they have a summer comeback set, like uh, a music video on a set like that. But you can get away with that because now like, oh, you're, you're being self-aware. Oh, you're being a little bit cheeky about it. So that was really smart. I really enjoyed that aspect of it. Um, that's going to be it for my reaction review to SF9 Scream. I hope you guys enjoyed watching along with me. You know, SF9, really, you know, I, I always liked them. Uh, I started liking them since probably their first comeback. And, you know, they have always been steadily growing on me. Some comebacks, I have loved it passionately. But I really, really did not, like, start slipping into and falling in love with them. And I, I think they are a group that really found their stride. Like, they had not even hit their prime until now until the crucible they went on over the past few years and so uh i i just really enjoyed this this was so exciting um it's incredible that sf9 continues to manage to live up to the hype and also continue to exceed it as well but guys that's going to be it for my reaction review let me know what you guys thought about scream by sf9 that's a 10 out of a 10 for me even though uh they went for a very standard catchy commercial route with the sound and the look they did it in a way that is so polished and so well done that you can't argue with the results so um that's why i love it i'd love to know what you guys thought in the comments down below uh if you guys would like to support the channel please remember you can always visit our patreon as we mentioned uh, if you guys enjoy our content you want to uh, support the channel but you can't afford to go to our patreon that's completely fine go ahead and like the video down below leave a comment go ahead and hit subscribe over here uh you know if you subscribe to our channel it helps us out a lot go ahead and check out our other videos over here and we'll see you next time have a wonderful day everyone bye